Today, I want to discuss with you the future of virtual assistants. So when thinking about lean AI, a great way to describe this is like Siri or Alexa for employees, the one spot employees go to to get whatever information they may need. When building our large language model, WorkLM, one of the biggest use cases was to build the idea of a Jarvis for you Marvel fans for employees. So if I think of the tasks that I follow up with throughout the day, there are many items across multiple systems I need to input, assign, update, take action on, on a regular basis. So when a meeting's over, for example, I have five or six things that I need to organize, complete, follow up on, take action on, which is the central use case for our work LM, the idea of Jarvis for me. We've done just this with our first generation autonomous cognitive agent. And to give you a real life of what this looks like, let's take a look at the following example. So here's an example. I had a meeting with the CEO of Wayne Enterprises, Bruce Wayne. He mentioned they have high attrition in the manufacturing plants. Send him an email with a case study that highlights how we've helped other companies similar to this overcome this. I'm also going to Paris for vacation. Add a note to Wayne Enterprises to revisit the deal after I come back and apply leave within my human resources management system. This is a very complex with multiple tasks going on here. This could be very difficult to figure out which systems to go into and how to do this and how to organize it. We can streamline this by simply putting these commands through here. So going through this, we're going to start figuring out what to do to break this down into smaller tasks to get these jobs done. Through our work LM, we've created what we call the Lean AI Brain that's going to figure out what it needs to do and where it needs to go to from here. So the very first task it's going to complete is finding a case study related to this. It can go through the case study repository, figuring out what's most relevant to the information I gave it. You mentioned high attrition in manufacturing plants. Now this has come back to me autonomously. He found a case study in nutrition and manufacturing plants with Gulf Coast Coca-Cola beverages, which is relevant to this. I'm going to send you an email you can send on to him, or I can send an email directly to Bruce Wayne from this. Our HubSpot agent, our CRM, then picks up these tasks. Our cognitive agent figures out the right API to call within which system to do this. It found the API to search for the contact. I did not give contact information for Bruce Wayne. I don't know the email address, potentially don't have it anywhere near me, but it's probably in the CRM. So it's looking for that API to find that information specific to this. It found Bruce Wayne's email, I'm going to send a, a, a case study, an email with the case study on this to be sent on to. Looking at this email, I can see it was sent to Bruce Wayne. From this, it has the information, which was not from a template. It was built automatically through the commands that I gave it. So it came through with Gulf Coca-Cola Beverages case study listing out the information within the case study that is most relevant for the email, as you can see here. The challenges that we came to, the results from this. You can also look at more information if you'd like to by going to the case study page and seeing it, or you can attach that to the back end. Again, created not from a template, but from the commands I gave it, going through the case study to get the information to the right person. Now back to the autonomous agent, I can see we found the API, the brain created this it, the email from the information in the case study, and it came back and says, Okay, well now we're going to connect with success factors as far as applying for lead. Because one of the commands that I gave it was I'm taking lead and I want to put that in the HRMS system. Going into success factors, it then applies for my lead for those dates off and it comes back and says that task was completed. As I'm traveling to Paris, maybe I need a visa letter. Maybe I need additional information for this trip in order for me to get in. So since I'm traveling to Paris, do I need a visa letter? I can say yes. And as I say, I need a visa letter. It can then prepare the appropriate visa letter for me. If you have a template, if you have something, if you have approvals that it may need to go to internally, it can create these visa letters automatically for me to have that I can then download, take with me into uh, whatever I may need, need to do as far as processing my, my vacation request. Once this gets generated, I'll have a link to this document that I can download whatever I may need from there. So it's going to then connect to the appropriate system with the appropriate information about the user who's asking for this, and then it's going to have the letter generated for them. So as you can see now, the letter is generated. The Lena AI brain says all tasks are completed. You can see my commands, it broke them down into smaller tasks, connecting to different systems to get the information from different places or post the information for me to those different places together. You can see very easily, this is a very efficient way to continue to follow up on my information, my meetings, set actions, follow through with whatever may need to be done and update things accordingly from here. So as you can see, there's many ways that we can use this to create efficiencies within the work that you do every single day by connecting to different systems, getting information, updating information, finding information for you very quickly that you can't get to very easily. 
we can create efficiencies to increase your productivity. I'd love to chat with you more about what we're doing not only today, but what we're building in the future and how we can help you specifically with the use cases you have to make you more efficient and become more productive. Thank you. And I look forward to talking to you soon.